Welcome YouTube to another video on Atlanta to Dallas Aviation. Uh, today's video we are taking a look at my Air Canada uh, collection. Uh, it's not too horribly large and if you happen to notice there's one that's not anything like the others. So this one right there in the front, the 757 that's right there in the front. That bad boy right there. So uh, that's the only one of that uh, airline that I have in my fleet. Uh, so keeping in the alphabetical order, um, and since Air Canada was a reasonable size uh, collection, uh, I thought I'd just throw this one in to cover it. Um, I guess my other option would be doing a video of models that I only have one of. I could probably do that, but uh, I will probably continue to do videos this way. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and knock this one out. So this is Air 2000. Uh, and his registration, which I actually did not, uh, shoot, I did not print that one up so I could tell you, but it's, uh, and I can't get too close, but I think you'll be able to see it on your computer screen. Come on. And I believe, uh, I believe the registration is right there next to the horizontal stabilizer. Uh, it is uh, it is of uh, British registration, so it begins with a G. That much I remember. Um, so actually, so that's a seven five seven. And honestly, I probably the box is within reach here, so the box will probably tell me what the registration is. Alright, so Air 2000 is a 757-200, and his registration is Golf Dash Oscar 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 Sierra. Yeah, so that's that's that. Not a lot of background on uh, on this one. Uh, if I if I even remember correctly, I actually got this one because I I like the livery, not really because I cared for the airline, and I never really looked into this airline. Uh, it is defunct now, um, so it's likely that this was an attempt uh, at a low-cost airline and it was a failure so it no longer exists so all right so now that we gotten that one off let's move back here to our first model in Air Canada this Air Canada is in its current livery uh, it is the Aviation 400 version uh, with an item number of 4131. And uh, its aircraft registration is Charlie Foxtrot November Oscar uh, Echo. He is a 7879. All right. And right next to him, we've got another 7879 Dreamliner in the current livery. Uh, this, this one is uh, Charlie Foxtrot Romeo Tango Golf. Uh, it's a next generation model with an item number of 55069. Next, we have the Air Canada 
uh, A340-300. Uh, his registration is Charlie-Foxtrot-Yankee Kilo X-Ray. Uh, this is a Gemini Jets uh, release. Uh, and I don't remember when exactly I got this one. Um, on the database that I looked these up on before I put them in my own database, uh, it says it's the 1994. Five livery so this was if I remember correctly this is the livery just before they went to the toothpaste or minty fresh uh, livery which I actually like and surprisingly I don't have any of those and I probably won't ever get any of those since uh, they're going to this livery so I probably won't get the uh, that mint green um, livery even though I actually like it a lot <laughs> um, that's just kind of the way I collect uh, if it's if it's about to go out if the livery is about to go out I don't collect it and uh, when I was uh, when I picked this one up this was the current livery um, so that's why I have one that isn't um, the most current livery. Alright, so moving on, the next largest airplane uh, that I have in my collection for Air Canada is this A320-200. Uh, its registration is Charlie-Foxtrot, Foxtrot Whiskey November. Uh, it is known as the Symphony of Voices, and it was commemorating the 65th anniversary of Air Canada when it came out. If I also, if I remember the the maple leaf, this part here, the maple leaf that's in the middle of the fuselage there, right above the wing, uh, was made up of employee names. Uh, sort of like the Delta thank you livery. The thank you is all Delta employee names. <clears throat> well, this was uh, the same way, if I remember correct, correctly. And uh, this one is <laughs> quite old in my collection because this is a Dragon Wings model. And I, the uh, item number for that Dragon Wings is 55462. All right, the next largest airplane or airplane type in my fleet. I'll get a, I'll see if I can get a little bit closer on this without it getting all weird on me. All right, that's a little closer. So this one's interesting. So this is uh, the uh, retro uh, Trans Canada livery, uh, and he is on uh, aircraft registration Charlie Dash Golf November Bravo November. Uh, this is a Gemini Jets release um, with. I mean it. My comments say it's the 2010 livery, but obviously this is retro livery. But it wasn't put out until they had started uh, with the most current livery, putting out airplanes with the most current livery. Uh, so this was in that time frame, I guess. Uh, the Gemini Jets um, item number, which I actually didn't read for the last Gemini Jets that I had, but this Gemini Jets... Uh, item number is Golf Juliet Alpha Charlie Alpha 1733. Uh, and this is one of the earliest releases of this aircraft type on a mold. And it is assumed, uh, maybe even a fact, that this is actually a herpa mold. Um, you can kind of tell um, the gear. The gear itself is very. It's just like 
a stick with wheels on it um, and it's all plastic um, and several of the surfaces uh, control surfaces are also plastic um, and I'm gonna go ahead and move away from that one I'm gonna go back to this one real quick I'm gonna read you the item number uh, for for this A340, um, that was a Gemini Jets, like I said. It's Golf Juliet Alpha Charlie Alpha 304. Okay, back to where we were. The next Air Canada model is another A220. This is the this is the first release. Um, and I think the first release was the aircraft registration of Charlie Dash Golf Romeo Oscar Victor. This one is also on a Herpa mold. Uh, the the landing gear undercarriage is uh, exactly the same uh, as the Trans Canada Retro Livery A220-300. Um, so that's what we have there. Uh, that one's item number is Golf Juliet Alpha Charlie Alpha 1733. Moving on to my, my next one is another A220-300. And this one is is released on the Gemini Jets JC uh, mold. Uh, the gear is now metal um, and more detailed. Um, I believe at least the bigger control surfaces are metal. Yeah, that feels like metal to me. Um, and this one, ah, did I read the registration? I don't think I did. Uh, so this one's registration is Charlie Golf Juliet X Ray Echo. Uh, and the item number is uh, Golf Juliet Alpha Charlie Alpha 2167. All right, moving on to the next size airplane. And you're, you're looking at this saying, hey, isn't that an A319? Isn't that bigger than this plane? And some of y'all are probably smart enough that you already know that, this, that uh, the A220 is larger as far as passenger uh, occupancy it, uh, is concerned. Uh, so that makes this it the way I am measuring it makes this one a smaller airplane and this one is my other uh, very old livery this is Dragon Wings also and its item number is 55699 uh, its aircraft registration is Charlie dash Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar and <laughs> I don't think I ever realized this when I bought it but there's a sticker right there just to the right of the passenger door and underneath the uh, maple leaf uh, and that is a Canada Loves New York logo sticker um, so I don't know. Hopefully you can see it pretty well on a bigger screen. I can't see it at all on that screen. Uh, I can see that something is there. And uh, But anyway, so this one also uh, is in the 1995 livery. Uh, so I got this early on. So that's why uh, an older livery is in my fleet. And we're moving on to the next one. 
going to have to zoom out a little bit here. And you know what? I am also going to move my camera a little bit so we get a, a better side view. So please excuse the moving here. I am on a tripod, which is sort of awkward to move. All right, let's get back on this bad boy. Oops, all right. 12 times is too to come on good all right ten times works all right so this is uh, my last model of uh, of Air Canada it's the smallest of uh, of the aircraft types uh, we have a Bombardier CRJ 900 uh, this one's a Gemini Jets release um, with item number Golf Juliet uh, Alpha Charlie Alpha 2030 and uh, its registration is Charlie Golf Juliet Alpha November and he of course is in the uh, most recent livery so anyway so that is my fleet collection of Air Canada. I do have some other Canadian airlines, uh, but this is my largest largest fleet of Canadian airlines. I think I got a Flare and a, a Sun Wings, and I got it. Oh, I got three West Jets, uh, including the. Uh, the very nice 737-600 from uh, from NG. Uh, we will get to those when we get to W, though. So from the top of my of my new display cabinet, I bid you farewell, and we will see you in the next video.